I think the landscape of treasury services generally is changing very rapidly, and I don't see that stopping. The digital integrated payments hub is pretty special because uh, when you look at an entity like Conduent, who serves so many different parts of the industry, so many different segments and a lot of different use cases, it's really important to have a centralized stack of the latest digital innovations and payments so you can build an ecosystem that really leverages at scale what you can bring in from the market and leverage it into the different solutions that you bring to your clients. Some of the use cases we're really excited about, if you think on the receivable side at first, something like tolling in the transportation industry where individuals are loading or preloading store value balances for, for their commuter passes for, for tolling agencies, that's really powerful because it helps um, reduce insufficient funds, returns, and people going late um, in arrears on their balances. And then on the disbursement side, some of the exciting use cases is there's some of the government distributions where you look at um, getting funds into the hands of individuals who need it. And typically those are going out via check on both sides, right? So when you look at taking digital payment integration, putting it into the payments hub, embedding it within these use cases, you can really bring those benefits downstream to the clients that Conduit touches whether they're the people driving cars through tolling stations, whether they're the people on the receiving end of a government distribution. The fact that most of these capabilities are 24 seven, they're instant, they're really embedded in the workflow end to end through an API architecture. The speed, the transparency, the cost around all of that is really optimized.